Hey everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is my custom wrestling company information, which pretty much is just like a fake wrestling company that I come came up with in my head. Um, also, I sometimes refer to on play as in WWE. Um, if you want me to start a uh, series, I'm open to doing that because I'm actually think it'd be quite a good idea. Um, I don't know when I'll be able to start it, but I'm open to doing a series. So if you guys want me to, just leave a comment in the section below. Um, just say yes or no in the below. I don't understand what you mean. Um, <coughs> but the wrestling company would actually be referred to as Dog Pound Wrestling Promo Federation. Um, if you guys watched my Return of the Dog Pound or even Res Rise of the Dog Pound, which was an older series on Facebook... Then you'll know why it's called the Dog Pound um, Wrestling Federation. And um, I started out with giving five match types that I would definitely want to incorporate into the thing. Should it actually be a real company? Um, and they are, number one, the Elevated and Ultimate X matches. Um, I put them together because they're kind of similar. Um, they originated from watching them first in Impact Wrestling or TNA. And the Ultimate X is where you, like, you're on these ropes or whatever, and you have to try to unhook the X. But, but you can't really use a ladder or anything. You just kind of have to climb across the ropes and that. It, it's quite unique. And the Elevated X is where there's an X forming, I think, 20 feet above the ring. And um, you were fighting on the X. The first one to knock each other down um, wins. It, they've only did it twice in Impact Wrestling. I think both matches featured AJ Styles. So they're on YouTube. Um, and you guys can definitely go check them out if you want to. They're awesome matches, by the way. Um, and number two is Hell in a Cell. Now, if you don't know what Hell in a Cell is, um, then you're underneath a rock. Because WWE's been doing them for years. Um, Impact Wrestling calls them Six Sides of Steel, but, um, it's pretty much the same thing, but I think ultimately a Hell in a Cell match is a good match. Um, number three, the casket match. Now, I love me a good casket match because it's, one, it, sin it signifies The Undertaker, plus it also gives a character that is, like, demonic or whatever, kind of like a go-to match. Along with the next one as well, which is number four, and that's the Buried Alive match. Which, again, really isn't shown a lot lately, and it really hasn't happened in years, if I remember. Um, but I would love to see them bring it back. Um, and number five is another match that I first seen in Impact Wrestling. It's kind of like the Money in the Bank, but it's a little bit differently. It's known as the Feaster Fired, and... Um, the Feast of Fire match, it, from what I understand, is there's four briefcases about hang, uh, hanging above the ring. It's a multiple person match, um, and once you pull down a briefcase, you are a winner. And there's four winners. One, and there's four briefcases, as I stated. So, once all four briefcases are down, the matches are over. Now, in one of the briefcases is a world title shot. One of the briefcases is a tag team title shot, and one of the briefcases in Impact Wrestling is an X Division title shot. But, I mean, you don't really have to do it that way. It could be whatever title you decide to choose. And then, obviously, the final briefcase would be the pink slip and or you're fired. I think it's a way to um, make things interesting and also... Um, revolve around bringing in new people and also taking out people that you're really not using as much as well um now let's get into some of the roster people that i would sign i have decided to go with 10 people each from wwe ring of honor new japan pro wrestling and i put impact wrestling and lucha underground together because some of their stars are kind of like on both so that's why I kind of put them together. And um, some of them aren't, but still. And then New Japan Pro Wrestling, you will take notice that there's no women. And that's because New Japan Pro Wrestling really doesn't use women 
to be honest with you. Um, not that I've known for. Um, so I chose three women for WWE, TNA, and Lucha Underground, and also Ring of Honor. So that's why that is. So WWE, I chose Finn Balor, Roderick Strong, Kyle O'Reilly, Johnny Gargano, Adam Cole, Pete Dunne, TJ Perkins, Natalia, Candice LeRae, and Ronda Rousey. Now let me go down the list on again and explain why. Finn Balor, I've always been a fan of his. I think he's a fantastic athlete, and I would love to see him fight some of these stars that WWE's not really letting him fight and really get the mechanism that he deserves. Um, two, three, and five kind of go together, which are Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Roderick Strong. They're members of the Undisputed Era. And I didn't add Bobby Fish because I really wanted to add Johnny Gargano in there. So that's why I didn't choose him as well. But I would love to sign him as well. But Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bob and Roderick Strong. Um, because it would be great to have them as a stable, as the Undisputed Era in the game. Um, and then Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae kind of go together. Um, they are pretty much my favorite couple in wrestling today. To be honest with you. And then we have Pete Dunne, who is a fantastic athlete. Um, current UK champion and amazing. And TJ Perkins, uh, the first ever Cruiserweight champion, multiple time X Division champion. The list can go on and on with his accomplishments. And I've always been a fan of his, so that's why I chose him. Um, number eight is Natalia. And I chose Natalia because I'm a big fan of the Hart family. And also because Natalia is a fantastic athlete. And number 10 is Ronda Rousey because she's absolutely unpredictable when it comes to the women's division. Yes, so, yes she can be a little bit um, intimidating when it comes to the women's division. But I still think that that's kind of a good thing. Now moving on to TNA um, and Lucha Underground. I have Eddie Edwards, Pentagon Jr. or Pentagon Dark. Sammy Guevara, Moose, Austin Aries, Kong O'Kong, Johnny Impact, Sue Young, Madison Rain, and Allie. Um, I chose Eddie Edwards because I love his new um, style. I love the fact that he's kind of getting a little bit more hardcore. Um, and I love that about him. And Pentagon Jr. was always hardcore. I've loved him since I've seen him on Lucha Underground. Um, Sammy Guevara, I'm a huge fan of Sammy Guevara. Um, and I am a fan of, um, his videos on YouTube as well. I watch them pretty much as soon as he uploads them. Um, so that is definitely why that is. Number four is Moose. Um, Moose is a unique guy. I mean, I didn't really see myself getting, um, or choosing him, but... I did because of the fact that I think, I mean, the possibilities with him is un, is endless. Um, much like number five, which is Austin Aries, who I think WWE treated very wrongly. I think Austin Aries is a fantastic athlete. Um, six is Kong Kong. Again, another athlete that the possibilities are endless. Um, seven, Johnny Impact is another guy that I've been fans a fan of for years. Um, his time in WWE, his time in elsewhere have been amazing. Um, Sue Young, um, when she first came, I wasn't really a big fan of hers, but let me tell you, she kind of grew on me because I love the good demonic, um, thing. And I kind of wanted to put Rosemary in her spot, to be honest with you, but Rosemary's gone right now. So I had to put Sue Young, um, Madison Rain. I loved Madison Rain ever since I started watching Impact Wrestling. Madison Rain was my favorite knockout, along with Angelina Love and Velvet Sky. So, Madison Rain, definitely. Um, and number 10 is Allie. Um, Allie, at first I didn't really care for Allie, I'll be honest with you, but then she kind of grew on me. So, now we're going to do New Japan Pro Wrestling, which is Kenny Omega. Bad Luck Fale, Chris Jericho, Davey Boy Smith Jr., Switchblade Jay White, Juice Robinson, King Haku, Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa, 
and Zack Sabre Jr. Kenny Omega, Bad Luck Fale kind of go together because they are with the Bullet Club. Um, and I'm a big fan of both of them. Chris Jericho, if you don't know who he is, he's, you're probably living under a rock because he's been in WWE for years. Um, but Chris Jericho is a fantastic athlete as well. Um, Davey Boy Smith Jr. is the son of one of the British Bulldogs. And Davey Boy Smith Sr., um, he's also a member of the Hart family, so that's also accumulating it. Um, he's also a fantastic athlete as well. Switchblade Jay White. When I first seen him, I kind of just kind of liked his gimmick, and I really, really got intrigued by his gimmick and wanted to see more from him. Um, Juice Robinson was a guy that was signed by WWE in NXT as CJ Parker, but never really got the push that I really expected him to. Um, and so I liked the fact that New Japan took him in and made him a huge star. Um, King Haku, Tama Tonga, and Tonga Loa kind of go together because they're a stable. Um, they're also father and sons, and they're fantastic athletes. And Zack Sabre Jr. is an amazing athlete. Um, I've been a fan of his for a, quite some time now. I've seen him in the Cruiserweight Classic as well, and I've also loved how he is a submission specialist. And then Ring of Honor, we have Dalton Castle, Cheeseburger, Bully Ray, Chris Sabin, Cody, Kenny King, Flip Gordon, Brandy Rhodes, Kenny or Kelly Klein, and Tanel Dashwood. So Dalton Castle, I'm a big fan of his gimmick. His gimmick's quite unique and different, so that's kind of a why I liked him. Cheeseburger, I think he's a guy that can connect with absolutely anybody, and so that's why I chose him. Um, Bully Ray is a legend in the business, and I would love to work with Bully Ray, um, as of, like, me being a, uh, company owner. Um, number four is Chris Saban. Now, I would have chose Alex Shelley as well, um, for the Motor City Machine Guns, but Alex Shelley had re retired, um, but Chris Saban is a fantastic athlete as well. And so Chris Sabin is would be more than welcome to come in. Cody is an athlete that I really, really loved since his time in WWE. Um, I don't think WWE really treated him very well, to be honest with you. And I would love to see Cody um, show WWE up, and he has been. Number six is Kenny King. And Kenny King is an athlete that... If you don't know who he is, you definitely need to watch him because he's a fantastic athlete. So that's why I would, he would be a great addition to any roster. Um, number seven is Flip Gordon. Another one of them athletes that are very, very talented um, and would be a great uh, person to add to any um, roster. Number eight is Brandy Rhodes, which is Cody Rhodes' um, wife and... Not just because of that. I think she had a lot of potential when it comes to the wrestling business. Um, seeing her in Impact Wrestling and WWE kind of also stemmed from that as well. Number nine is Kelly Klein. I've seen Kelly Klein wrestle maybe three, four times. But in those times, she's really, really impressed me. And she's very, very, very unique with her moves. Um, and very, very different with her moves as well. And I kind of like it. And number 10 is Tanel Dashwood, a.k.a. Emma. I think Debbie really never gave her the push that she deserved. Um, but then again, her character really wasn't that as well as either. But still, um, that's why I decided to choose her. And then the last thing I did for them, I'm not going to really explain why. But these are just pretty much, I'll tell you why. These are celebrities that I'm fans of, pretty much. These are celebrities that I would want to be ambassadors and also guest star occasionally. Um, and they are Tyler Posey and Dylan O'Brien from Teen Wolf. Dylan, or Bill Skarsgård from It, uh, Castle Rock, and others. Um, number four is Robert Downey Jr. And number five is Tom Holland. Both playing superheroes in the Pacific. Spider-Man and Iron Man. Um, number six 
number seven and number eight kind of go together, and they are Matt Dillon, Ralph Macchio, and C. Tommy Howell from The Outsiders. The Outsiders is my favorite movie of all time. Um, number nine and number ten kind of go together. Andrew Lincoln and Lauren Cohan, both from The Walking Dead, playing Rick and Maggie. So that is my custom roster and everything for my custom wrestling company what do you guys think um do you guys think it'd be a good show to kind of um actually do and also do you think i should make it into like a series type of thing on um my phone like bring in like a fake company or whatever in the universe mode and kind of do it that way do you guys think so or not let me know in the comment section below anyways next sunday's video of the week will be Making my family and Sims part two. Um, this time I'll be making Dom, my dog, my cousin Dale, and my cousin RJ. So you won't want to miss that. So have a great day. Peace and thank you guys for watching. Bye.